Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mushroom Wars. I'm AC Gamer. This is Cypher Deck. And we are going to be going through this game brought to you or published by Zill and Wales. Absolutely fantastic. Now, most of the episodes we've shown you thus far have been part of the multiplayer campaign. But there is a training area in the campaign mode and the actual campaign mode itself, which we're going to be going into now. Uh, we're going to be playing on different uh, maps, uh, you know, in the tutorial, but we're going to go through the exact same thing together. So we figured we'd just go ahead and do the videos together to see, uh, you know, kind of toss ideas back and forth as we go through it. Now, uh, the very first one is select building sending troops. This is going to be pretty basic yeah. for most of you guys, but we're going to go through it, read what they have to say, check it out, make sure it's working because this is the beta. So there might be a few bugs here and there, but yeah, let's go ahead and click on it. It's loading us in right now. So select building, sending troops. Do not forget to improve their houses. Are you on the opening screen right now? I am still loading. It's actually showing me a screen where it says um, morale increases attack, defense, and speed. Ooh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So that is very good information to know. All right. Let me know when you're in, and uh, we'll start it off here. Come on, computer. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that I wish you could zoom in a little bit more because you can see like little windmills on the little uh, buildings here. And I don't, there's a lot of detail I think is kind of being lost because you can't zoom in and see everything there is to see here. Hmm. You still loading? I am still loading. Actually, right. I, have, I don't see any mushrooms going across the bottom yet. I don't know if it's the computer or if it is the game. Maybe it froze on you. Maybe. We'll give it a few more seconds. Like we said, it is beta, so weird things are going to happen. When they do, best bet is to give it a few minutes. Don't try to be in a rush. Don't try to exit out of the game. Uh, if it takes more than a few minutes, then go ahead and shut down the game and restart it up and see if you still have that same problem. If you do, restart your computer, and that might fix it. But again... Because it is beta, it may just be an issue that has nothing to do with you. But those are a few things that you can usually try to see if you can fix it. And on most situations with the games we've played in the past, that has uh, been, you know, more than enough to uh, to kind of get us past those hurdles and into the game itself. Are you still uh, you still running on the issue right there? It's loading now, but there's another little uh, quip. Uh, forge increase attack and defense performance. Hmm. What was that again? Oh, what, what what increases defense performance? Um, it is the forge. That's uh one of that's, the buildings that's, that you can make uh turn your building into. And that's for de defense only, not offense or anything. Not not even for research. That's correct. Oh, I thought that was helping your research go up. The fact that it helps your defense, that could that could explain some things. Hmm. If you're gonna set yourself as a you know, almost a turtle as uh, being more defensive. That might be an option to have a few of those in the back somewhere. And one other quip. Um, the higher level you're building, the higher it's defense. Oh, yeah. I kind of figured that much yeah. off the bat. I mean, are you in? I am in. All right. So you see on the side where it says select your house by clicking left on it? Yes. All right. So I'm going to let you read the next little bit of it. Because I've been talking for a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, do what it says right there. It says, send troops to the green village by clicking the right mouse button. Current number of units is displayed above each house. So we can go ahead and right click it. Okay. And... Um, Go ahead and read the next one. Oh, it says highlight a few houses holding the left mouse button and dragging. This will allow you to withdraw or withdraw, yeah, troops from all of your houses simultaneously. So that's what we're gonna do. We're holding the left mouse button and we're dragging the box to select everything on the screen. Once we have it, we want to go ahead and capture the building in the center. You'll see the 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 little guys are actually going back up. If you take too long, but that's all right because your troops go back up as well, just not nearly as fast, uh, apparently, in this scenario. So let's go ahead and attack it and see what happens here, guys. Okay. 
Now these are all basic little things that, uh, from watching our videos you probably have already noticed, but we're going to be going through all the different tutorials on this little episode here to kind of get them out of there. Uh, if you want to go ahead and read the next. Okay, um, so the next one is... Upgrade your house by double clicking with the left mouse button. Okay. This is probably something we should have done right off the bat because that first episode we did was basically me just being confused about what to do on any of this stuff. All right. So we want to capture the village of the neutral player. The neutral player is going to be in gray. Catching neutral buildings will accelerate generations of troops. So let's go ahead and do that. There's only one guy in there, so we didn't really need to send all of our guys, but they haven't gotten to the point where we can pick the percentage yet. Okay, capture all enemy buildings on the field. All right, drag and drop, guys. Drag it. Send everything you got. Is he is he screaming lemonade? <laughs> is he? I, yeah, it it kind of sounds like that. Maybe I'm upgrading my building first. That's that's what I uh, what I always do. So oh, did try. you? Yeah. Oh, I, I just I just straight up sent him to attack. All right. I already won. I already won that one, man. That one. That one is easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. And he's talking about lemonade, so we gotta get that <laughs> reference in there somewhere. Lemonade. <laughs> oh. Kind of sounds like it. Okay. So, uh, did you want to read this one? Ah, uh, sure. Now you can choose what percentage of troops you want to send out from your building. So we can do 25, 50, 75, or a hundred. Uh, it wants us to choose 25% to start with. So let's go ahead and hit the 25 key. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you read the... Well, we'll take okay. turns, man. Go ahead. Uh, send your troops to a neutral village by clicking the right mouse button. So I'm going to go to the one all the way to the right. And it says current number of units is displayed above each house. So make sure you're sending it to a house that you can take. And the, the defender already magically has... A, uh, a stronger time killing your troops. So if you're just sitting five against five, you're probably only going to destroy maybe two or even three of his troops, and he's going to win the day. So make sure you have an overwhelming number of guys to win that one. And it now says capture all buildings on the field. And you can see that they attacked while we were sending our troops out, which is why it's good not to send out 100% of your troops. Because you won't have anybody left. They will immediately take over your base. So now that we have all this, we need to uh, we need to upgrade. Are you going to upgrade some of your buildings? I think I'm going to upgrade um, both of the two small buildings once. Yeah, same thing here. So I have 66 in one, 18 in one, and 10 in the other. Basically, guys, what you need to remember is the bigger the building, the more troops that can be generated faster. Also... It does have a limit on how many troops can be generated. So one house right now has 80, and it's not generating any more at the moment. So you should send those out to get attacked, to die, so they can start generating more. But I think we're just going to go ahead and select all of our troops if you're ready. I am ready. Make sure to hit that 100% tile on the left-hand side so all your troops get sent out. Although 75 is what 75 I would usually... would probably be the best because I am sure he's probably going to try to defend himself. He could. He could He could actually counterattack, and your troops won't fight in the battlefield in the middle. So his troops walk right through yours, take one of your bases, and then you'd have to retake that back. So it could be very, very tricky in that. So it's 75 or 100%? I did 100%. No, nah, I took it. He, did, he didn't attack okay. at all. All right, here I go. It's actually pretty cool. I, I, I think, you know, these, these tutorials uh, definitely they kind of baby you. They're taking you through step by step. But for a new player, somebody who's never come through here before – Probably a good thing, and the fact that we have gotten our butts royally kicked so many times when fighting other players is probably good that we're going back and, and trying the tutorial and maybe learning the baby steps like we should have. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and uh, read off the next screen. Okay, tower shoots at units who are in their effective damage range and have an increased level of defense. Capture the tower of the neutral player. So All right. I'm going to do 70% on this one. 75. Doing, um, 50%. Let's, let's, 30 guys. Yeah, you got to remember a lot of them are going to get destroyed from just uh, trying to get near it. And I went ahead and had to send another. Yep. Yeah, that's what I figured on that one. So any building can be converted into a tower and back. Convert the captured tower into a village. 
to make it possible, bring in 30 units. So I'm going to have to send some more units to it to be able to uh, downgrade this into a tower. Now, I or to a, a house. I usually like towers myself, but let's go ahead and do this right here. Get this in there. Now, these houses will generate more people, so it may be worth it for you to have more towers or more uh, houses and towers. So, absolutely. Um, okay, I have 40 people in there, and it is not allowing me to. It's the second one. It's not the first one. Well, it's not allowing me to even see that that option. Uh, make sure you're not clicked on the other house, and and just click on the the tower, and then right click on it. Ah. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, if you were clicked on the other house or all both of them at the same time, that might be one of the issues you run into. That's how you upgrade so fast. Uh well, not not usually. I'm just you know you gotta you gotta click on the building you're trying to upgrade. Okay, and uh, what are we doing next, sir? Uh, we are capturing all enemy buildings on the field, and so my guys have had time to uh, to upgrade a little bit. I'm upgrading my one building once. I'm upgrading my main building once as well. Because they do have a tower. It has 25 people inside that tower. You're probably going to lose about 10 people, if not more, getting to that tower. So you want to make sure that you put all your troops into one building first. So you're going to want to leapfrog. Uh, you don't want to like just select both your your uh, your enemy uh, your buildings. So I'm going to take 100% from the one in the back, put it in the one in the front, and then I am going to take 100% of the one in the front and just go ahead and start attacking the the tower. And 80 people seems like it should be enough. You need uh, probably about 30 plus to take the building, then the other ones who are going to get destroyed along the way. So I sent 80, and 50 of them made it, which is, you know, not bad at all. Okay, I am down to 70 people, so I'm going to go ahead and send enough to turn that tower into another home. Oh, you're going to take it? You're going to do the home thing? Yeah, I think so, because. Okay, well, I have 100, and it's climbing pretty fast, so I probably don't even have to do that. I'm going to go ahead and send 100 people, 100% now. It's only 15 people yeah. in that building, so. So I went ahead and let my, my tower remain where it was. I didn't take any people out of that one, and I just sent all my people from my old houses into it, so that way if he tries to fight, I would have uh, a way of defending that one. So let's, let's see what it says on this next one, man. Okay, so it says forges improve attack and defense, um, a hundred and fifty percent and two hundred percent. Okay, I, I see what it's saying. So if you have one or two or three, it actually combines more forges, higher the performance. You can convert any building into a forge. Occupy well, but, a forge. But look at that. As far as the percentage goes, a hundred hundred is where you have no forges. If you have one forge, you get 25% in defense and 50% uh, into offense. So it's, you know, right off the bat, it's already disproportionate. And if you have four forges, 150 to 200. So you're getting more offensive capability than you are defensive. I actually took both forges at the same time. <laughs> oh, you already taken these things? Yeah, there. it only had one person in each forge. Uh, are we taking the forges or the houses? I said take the forges. All right, let me uh, let me send uh, twenty five percent into these. Uh, we should be able to do it just fine. All right, capture all enemy buildings on the field. Yes. Is that what you're doing right now? I am getting ready to start, but uh, no, I haven't. I haven't yet. Um... I am upgrading my building first, uh, just so we can get a few more people going. We're going to need, uh, what do you think, about 25 people to take out 20? I would probably say so. I'm upgrading uh, this back tower or this back um, building to maximum before I send anybody because I think it's going to be a hard take on those three buildings. I'm actually attacking it with 21 just so I can see if we can win this because we do have extra attack and extra defense from those uh, those two buildings. Oh, oh and yeah. I won. Oh, you did win. Yeah, 21 people, and I have 10 people remaining. Wow, that is a huge difference. Let me try it with 17. 17 against 20 and see if we can win this one. I'm actually curious. Wow, 17 against 20, and I have five people remaining. All right, let's try really? it with uh, let's try it with 13. 13 against 20. 
and see if we win this one, guys. This is uh, this is actually interesting. This so is you know, gorgeous, man. This is yeah. something we definitely need to take advantage of. Oh my god, thirteen against twenty, and I won with one. Really? So uh, yeah, eight less people. Maybe a little bit more than the eight less people because you need you know like twenty five at the very beginning without a forge. So, wow, forge is a huge deal. You, that's maybe why she won. She went right after that, right off the bat. So, yep. it's not like she had more people, which she did. She ha had just more you know damage by a lot. And if you have two or three or four of those things, wow, that's gonna make some big difference. You can't upgrade them though, huh? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> All right, so I'm upgrading most of my buildings one more time, and then I am going to uh, to send my guys in. I guess if you take everybody out the forge, you don't own them anymore, or is that not right? You have to have somebody in them for them to work. Well, they only need one, so you should be able to send. But you can't, you know, like do a giant group select basically at the same time. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna send 100% of my people from my my uh, building in the last one to my building in the center so that they're all right next to one another and they don't have to travel, you know, and get shot at one by one. Uh, they can kind of move as a force. I'm going to move all my people from my right-hand building into my center one, and they're already getting attacked, so that was probably a bad idea. I'm sending 100 people into the first tower. I'm sending 160 people into mine. And I'm sending 50 people into my second one. Wow. Those those forges are just powerful. Yeah, fifty people against fifty for for a tower, not quite enough. Because you got to remember that yeah. uh, you lose quite a bit on the transition there. Ooh. But all right, so now we have to take out a hundred people. And I'm <laughs> sending I'm sending almost everybody I got into that that place. I think I'm gonna do it right here. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna on. send a hundred percent of everybody. I got it. There are three ties of building houses, tower, and forge. That's a little uh, intro right there. Conversion of any type of building is thirty units. Okay, so it doesn't matter what building you're trying to make it into, it's just gonna cost us that's, that's actually good information to know. I like that. Okay, so um Morale increased performance of your army. Level of morale grows when you upgrade buildings, capture enemy buildings, and successfully defend yourself. Score two morale stars by protecting the central house. So, I guess they want us to send 50% into the main house? All right, and you can select all houses, and then you click on the one in the center, and uh, the one in the center just won't do anything. So that's a good way to kind of do it a little bit faster. There we go. Is he is he gonna attack, or, or what's going on? Okay, I see that whenever he attacked, uh, there's there's an experience bar. So the amount of people you defend against um, increases the amount that you. Um, can yeah wants us to um score two morale but it's taking forever for them to send people to us yeah yeah i mean it's gonna be a little bit but they're going for it i they're mean you know, there's the program the, for it. yeah they're upgrading at the moment that's what's pretty much keeping them well, while they're upgrading, I'm going to go ahead and attack one of their buildings that only has four people in it or 20 people. You can see the numbers, how many people they have, which is kind of unfair, but at the same time, why not take advantage of it? Right. Why not? I mean, that is a good... I mean, they're, they're only sending probably 10 people at a time. Why not take over their buildings? Just a few of them anyways. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot, but... Wow. They, uh, they were able to defend... Oh, nice. Oh, they know which building I was going after, and they were defending as well. So capture all enemy buildings on the field. Oh, wow, right. they took my building. They, <laughs> they, they, uh, they took my building away from me. Oh, wow. That's, uh... Yeah, the center building. Is, uh, they defeated me. Really? <laughs> yes. You lost. 
Does it uh, give you a, a choice to like restart? I haven't lost yet, but I mean, they are literally sending Chatty everyone. Uh, um, uh, capture yeah. all enemy buildings is what it's telling me now. That's not happening. I am, I'm dead. It's not gonna let you start over, huh? Well, we'll see here in a second. Uh, morale is enhanced when you successfully attack, protect, and improve. Okay, so it, it did start me over. This time oh, okay. I'm not attacking them. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Well, they, they definitely have made the computer players a little smarter. They're not just uh, letting you have it on this one. Yeah, yeah. But I, I you know, I'm getting there. I'm, you know, these guys are, uh, are putting up a fight, but I think we're winning this one. Have you got to where you have um, two morale yet? Two morale. I have uh, one morale, and I'm losing a little bit here and there. Come on, oh, get some people in there. People. Oh, so close. They almost took it. They almost took that center building. I think what I need to do is upgrade these guys a little bit. Yeah, upgrade. I'm taking over. Uh, I'm taking over a building that that they uh, had very little people in. Oh, okay, now they're defending themselves. Okay, so most of my buildings are fully upgraded now. They're doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. See what he's doing. And they, it's it's very very smart. Yeah, he's not stupid. Although unfortunately for him, I just got too many people, and he's not gonna be able to compete. I am attacking every building he has at the same time now. Wow. Oh no, he's gonna take my building. Oh, he took my center. center. He took my center. Uh oh. But not for long. Okay, I now have two morale. It's telling me to start uh, attacking him. So I'm going to defend this next time. And then I'm going to start showing him what for. Right. And I think I won this one. Yeah, baby. Well, he was difficult. He was difficult, man. Oh, come on. You guys know you want to win this one. 100%. There we go, everybody. Woo! Yes, tutorial is finished, guys. Oh boy. That was the last one. That was the last mission. No wonder it was so difficult. They're just trying to make sure you are ready to go. Oh, he is about to destroy me. Is he again? He's gonna destroy you? Yeah. You gotta be careful with him, man. He is tricky. If he sees you sending his troops to one building, he sends them to another. So what you wanna do is actually send just like the handful, you know, like five guys to one building. He'll send people over uh, to it. He is he's Okay, it's over. It's over again. Wow, man, he's he's wiping the floor with you, dude. Yep. That is nuts. <laughs> I should have. I should not have taken your advice the first time. <laughs> I should have just held my ground until I had the morale. He has all the morale. Oh, does he? See, I I didn't lose any morale really until I started attacking him. Yep. Wow, the campaign looks pretty cool too. Well, I can get out of this, and we can start the campaign if you want. No, nah, no, nah, go for it, man. All you gotta, you gotta beat that one. I'm right. looking at some of the other stuff on here, just trying to show off some of this. Let's see. Okay, so those are our friends that we got on there. Replays. What is replays? Holy crap! We can go back and we can watch our replays, dude. Really? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna look at Orange beating us again, cause you know that. Let's go with Ready. Yeah, Orange beating us was something that I, I got to pay a little bit closer attention to what she's doing now that I'm not trying to uh, defeat her myself. She's using the exact same avatar that I'm using, uh, Kree. So she goes immediately after. What does she send? She sends 100% of her troops into the nearby building on both of her mushrooms. So if we had attacked her right off the bat, we could have easily taken over what she had. Upon immediately taking that over, she attacks you on both buildings. Oh, wow. And she gets you down to about 10. All right. So she uh, she made a mistake on that one. She attacks you thinking that that would be an easy kill. And then she's going for what? What is she doing? Is she reinforcing? I, 
think she's reinforcing. Yeah. She's reinforcing that one. She's turning it into a stronghold. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, it's a tower. All right, so she's still not doing too bad. Mm hmm. What is she doing? She's just building up troops. I guess she's just waiting. She's not rushing it. She she sees everybody else rushing and and doing all this crazy stuff. All she's doing is upgrading at the moment. What about you, man? How how you doing on that one? I am doing a whole lot better this time. I am now at, okay. He's just gonna start rushing my my center. Oh, you guys so close to taking over one of her bases, man. She had like five people left inside of it when you really? got there. Yeah. Oh, but she took over one of those, those, uh, you know, forges. Oh, and then she took over a second. That's why she kicked our butts. This time I'm, I'm doing forges. I'm, I'm doing two forges. And I'm going to take over one of their buildings, so let's go ahead and pass from there. Oh, the forges are just so powerful, sir. Yeah, they're amazing. They give you that, that strength that you would not have gotten any other way. I, all right, so the next building I'm going to take over, I'm going to go ahead and add forges to it or turn it into a forge as well. I like how she's biding her time. She's letting us, uh, you know, play around and attack things. and She's doing really, really well, man. <laughs> All right, I have 300 people. I should be able to send half of everything to that building. You know what it is, is every single time we sent a wave of like 40 people, mm -hmm. because she wasn't attacking, she was getting that defender bonus. But at the same time, she was letting her guys build up to like 80 on each one of her mushrooms. So we attack with like 40, there's no chance of us winning. And she was always like 40 ahead of us for a little bit more. Wow. Just, just waiting, just waiting for us to kill ourselves on her, and then, uh, then go in for the final kill. I finally def destroyed him. <laughs> okay, I'm done with the tutorial. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, end the episode here. I do want to thank you. Did you start this one or did I? I can't remember. I believe I started. Ah, uh, go for it then, man. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am Cipher Deck. And I'm AC Gamer. And we will see you next time. Subscribe. And like.